Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look an example of the try with resources statements in Java 7. This was the one of the best feature which was added in the JDK 7. Uh, before JDK 7, we need to use a finally block to ensure that a resource is closed regardless of whether the try statement completes uh, normally or with exception. JDK 7 introduces a try with resources statement which ensures that each of the resources in try is closed at the end of the statement and this results in the cleaner code. Uh, classes that implements the auto closable or closable interface that may be used as a uh, resource in the try block try with resources. Uh, if you look into the these two interfaces, uh, uh, closable, first interface is the closable which uh, basically uh, keeps the close method which throws the IO exception and uh, closable extends auto closable and that is also a close method which extends basically uh, exception type of exception right. So closable here you can see. Uh, Closable interface extends auto closable interface. The close method of, of the closable interface throws uh, exception of type IO exception, right? While the close method of the auto closable interface throws uh, exceptions of type exception, right? So, uh, consequently, subclasses of auto closable interface can override this behavior of the close method to throw a specialized exceptions such as IO exception or no exception at all. So these things will have to keep in mind. Now uh, what are the benefit before uh, talking about the benefit let's uh, try to understand the one example which I have already created. So here I have created a class with try with resource management test and here I have a two method first try with catch resource management and that was the uh, usually uh, this is the way we were, we were writing code before JDK uh, 7 right so here basically what is the huge case I have taken let me explain you here I have a file is called test.txt and which contains some lines of uh, there are uh, those contains some uh, text right so I want to read uh, line by line this file so that's what I have declared a buffer reader outside of the try block and here I have instantiated buffer reader and there I am passing object of file reader which takes a file name which is which is uh, available in my uh, project folder right. So here basically I am writing uh, just I am reading re uh, line by line and just I am printing on the console and if any exception arises in the try block then I am trying to print entire print stack trace on the console and in finally block i'm checking if uh, buffer reader is not null then i'm just trying to close it because close method is throwing io exception so i need to handle in the try uh, try block or uh, you can declare as a throws block throws uh, keyword uh, with method signature right so you can see the way i have written the code it looks very ugly right but the functionality wise is working very fine that's not a problem so if i run this program then you get the output. Now similar functionality how we can implement in Java 7 and our version. So let me show you. So Java 7 came up with the try with resources feature. So what is try with resources? You will have to write the try right and here inside that uh, beside the try you will have to declare a resources something like this. So I currently I have only one resources. If you have more than one resources then you can declare those resources using semicolon separated but I have only one resource and he, here resource name is called buffer reader so if you go to the buffer reader buffer reader extends reader class again reader class implements readable and closable right so closable, closable again extends auto closable so uh, here buffer reader uh, uh, buffer reader uh, did not extend auto closable interface directly but indirectly and that's the reason 
you can say buffer reader implements auto closable interface and that's the reason we can use buffer reader as a uh, try with resources so whatever resources you are declaring over here make sure that that resource that class implements auto closable or closable interface right and here the rest of the code is same what we had written earlier but here uh, you can see we do not have any finally block because uh, once execution of this block will be closed then finally block will be executed so uh, so uh, once execution of this try block will be executed then close method will be called by the jvm and of the statement and end of end of the this try block so you don't have, you don't have as a developer you don't have overhead to close this resource what resource you are you have taken in the try block and that's the benefit when you talk about the framework like hibernate so you might have aware about that in hibernate uh, previous version of hibernate um, i mean old version of hibernate uh, usually uh, uh, we were creating a session in the try block and same we were closing in the finally block but latest uh, version of hibernate hi session interface also extends uh, auto closable interface so now if you look into the latest version of hibernate i mean hibernate 5 even i think uh, latest version of 4 as well uh, um, now session you can uh, use as a try with resources so you need to write very less amount of code and code is very neat and clean right you can see so let's uh, summarize some of the benefits of using try with resources in java are more readable code and easy to write automatic resource management number of lines code is reduced no need have finally block just to close the resources we can open multiple resources in try with resources statements separated by semicolon right so that's all uh, i wanted to explain in this class now second thing when you talk about the try with resources then uh, that i would like to discuss over here try with resources ex in terms of exceptional handling there is one difference to note between try catch finally and try with resources in case of exceptions if an exception is thrown in the both try block and finally block the method returns the exception thrown in the finally block for try with resources if exception is thrown in try block and uh, in try with resources statement then method returns the exception thrown in the try block so what basically i'm trying to say you so let's say I, I'm, I'm going to explain you these things through an example so here i have created a my class is called my uh, resource which implements auto closable interface and this interface is having a close method and that's what we have overridden this close method and here i have written closing my resource and in intentionally i'm throwing some exception over here now this class i'm using over here so here i have a two method first method is called try with resource management exception right so here uh, if i run this uh, method then uh, then basically what happens you'll see this line of code and this line of code but uh, i have another method normal try catch block so here uh, you'll see these two line of code will be will be printed but here intentionally i have given a true value for this statement but this exception uh, here we have a finally block as well right so this exception will be suppressed by the this exception so here when you try to close uh, uh, close the resource then this close method implementation of close method you can see here we are throwing exception as well so this these two lines will be printed so this exception will be printed but exception which is arises in the try block will be suppressed that's the difference now let me run this example and show you so now here when we call uh, try with resources right so first of all we have called try with resources then you can see saying that my um, my resource created in the try with resources that lines get printed now this line of code so now if you now uh, control went to this, this line of code and here if you so before before finishing this try uh, block uh, you can see whatever exception we are throwing over here that's getting printed right 
so, but uh, once this this uh, this line of code uh, executed then first of all uh, close method will be called as we discussed right and this line of this line is getting printed closing resource but this exception you do not see over here right exception which we are throwing in the try block that's getting printed right in case of try with resources this is getting printed but when we use a simple try catch block and that we are calling over here so if you look into the output sequence of output, output then here this line is getting printed now my source uh, my resource is created in try block that's getting printed now uh, once execution of this block will be completed then so here basically this is getting thrown right and finally we are throwing some exception here as well right so what happens exception which is thrown by the close that suppresses the exception which is thrown in the try block and that's what you are looking exception in closing which is coming from here and exception which was arises in the try block due to this line of code that is getting suppressed and that was the one of the uh, biggest problem in uh, try catch finally block and that was basically resolved in the jdk 1.7 by using try with resources right so whatever exception is arising in a try block that should not be suppressed right by the exception which is arises in the finally block but that was resolved in the jdk 7 so that's the thing i wanted to convey you i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, whatever i wanted to convey you i hope you understood so guys big thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and see you next video tutorial